and welcome to the Brick Cave Log for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2022. You are here in the Brick Cave Cave. Notice that you're probably facing, you're real, realizing something's different. You're actually facing the opposite direction from what you would normally face uh, when I record the vlog. So you're not getting the wall of book covers this month, this week. You're getting just the wall. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I do have a short video for you this week. I just do have some things to update you on. Um, the first of which being my identity as a stereotypical side character is out. It has been kind of populating out into all of the stores these last few days. So we're excited to have you purchase a copy and leave a review. Let us know what you think because um, it took us a, a little bit of time to get here as it normally does with most of our titles. But um, it is finally out there. You'll notice I'm... You notice I've got a the the Brick Cave hat. Yes, that's available by the way. You can buy that in the Brick Cave Square store. That's product placement right there. Anyway, um, so we're super excited. We'd love to hear some see some reviews come out and uh, have you share your thoughts on this next generation of poetry. Is kind of how I'm calling it, but that's the way it goes. Uh, I do have one other big piece of news for you. Uh, I teased a little bit ago that we were going to talk about Sharon Skinner's next middle grade book. Um, I think I can talk in more detail about it. We have set dates for cover reveal and date for release. So we're super excited. It is called Lostin's Found, and it will be a cover reveal right around March 1st. Um, I think we actually kind of put March 1st on the calendar and then realized that uh, the author is booked that day for something else. So we had to move it. But uh, next week, I'll tell you what the exact day is of the cover reveal. Um, but you are going to love this cover. This cover was done by Keith DeCesare. You would know Keith from Mirabella and the Faded Phantom and the Nelig Stones. Um, uh, in addition to, I think those are the two biggies that he did. Um, yeah, those are the two biggies that he did. And you're just going to love this cover. This cover is just fantastic. It's such a beautiful piece of art. Anyway, so that's coming. So we've got, uh, hopefully by the time we hit LA Times Festival of Books, you'll have uh, a copy of Lost and Found that you can pick up. Uh, speaking of, we are preparing for Tucson Festival of Books. We're excited. March 12th and 13th. We're continuing to kind of release details on which authors are going to be there. Uh, I just did the schedule for when the authors are in the booth and available for book signing, so we'll get that put up fairly quickly. Um, man, it's just been so it's been so long since we've done an event. It's kind of crazy. So looking forward to that. Join us in Tucson at, at uh, University of Arizona campus. Can't miss it. It kind of takes up the entire Central Mall there. Easy to find. Uh, March 12th and 13th. And then uh, last thing I had before I go today, because I didn't have a lot to, to talk about, I wanted to mention uh, last week that uh, it was announced that draft to digital is buying Smashwords. And uh, we use Smashwords in our distribution channels. We actually use a number of different uh, sites and stores and stuff, including the big swishy orange A guy. Um, but I'm kind of curious as readers, because I know, you know, I've talked to a lot of other authors that have self-published, and I've talked to a lot of publishers that, that have used it. But I'm kind of curious from a reader standpoint if you have any experience with, with either Smashwords or Draft to Digital. So um, feel free in the comments, throw a comment in there about what your experience has been. If you liked one, didn't like one, um, loved one. Whatever, just kind of give me clue me in, clue me in, because I need to be clued in on this whole Smashwords and Draft to Digital merger and, and kind of what that means. So um, really, that's all I had this week. So I'm going to let you guys get back to your Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for being a part of the Brick Cave. Um, do consider joining our BC Book Club. It is a fantastic way for you to support us as a press and make sure that we can keep getting books out to you. So uh, details at brickcave.media, and you can also click... You can also just type in bcbookclub.com and that'll take you right to the, the book club page at brickcave.media. So um, hope you guys are having a great week. Enjoy the rest of it and we'll talk to you again next Monday.